Every year brings much anticipation for the latest multiplayer games, but sometimes those games fail to live up to the hype. Let's take a look at some of the biggest multiplayer disappointments from recent memory. Let's start with Overwatch 2. I took time off work when Overwatch 2 launched in October. I was so excited. But the servers were constantly crashing that first week. And don't get me started on the new monetization model. Locking heroes behind a battle pass just ruins what made Overwatch so special. I miss being able to freely switch characters to counter opponents. I've been a Battlefield devotee since the Bad Company days. Battlefield 4 is my all-time favorite multiplayer shooter. But 2042 was clearly rushed out the door unfinished. With only a fraction of maps compared to previous games, no campaign and persistent technical issues, I regret my Deluxe Edition pre-order. It pains me to say it, but this one really missed the mark. And finally, let's talk about Marvel's Avengers. The Square Enix single-player campaign made us care about Kamala Khan, but the tedious, grindy multiplayer gameplay quickly lost users' attention. People didn't return because the world wasn't interesting enough. Crystal Dynamics is trying to restore its player base, but it has plummeted. Avengers failed despite a large multiplayer fan base. Up next, we have Anthem. This was expected to be EA and BioWare's 2019 flagship IP. On paper, an open-world Iron Man-style looter shooter sounded great. The multiplayer was basic and buggy at launch. Matchmaking went halfway, connectivity was poor, and the mission structure wasn't enticing for long-term co-op. What a shame for a cool new franchise. When No Man's Sky first launched, I was thrilled by the promise of infinite exploration with friends. But there was no real multiplayer at all. Just seeing floating orbs instead of other players in the universe felt so hollow. I get they wanted to manage expectations, but it was misleading and really disappointing as an exclusively multiplayer experience. Artifact was designed to blend Valve's polish with a new esports card game, but the results drove away more players than it recruited. Overuse of microtransactions and random card effects made the game seem pay to win. Valve tried to fix Artifact, but it never recovered from its erroneous start. Sobering lesson on what not to prioritize when designing multiplayer. Modern Star Wars. Battlefront games by EA flawlessly captured the look and sound of the films, but in their pursuit of casual appeal, they lacked the anticipated complexity and progression. Issues such as paid unlock for emblematic characters and a lack of multiplayer depth demonstrated how superficial treatment can impede the potential of an iconic franchise, a lesson in comprehending what makes up the essence of the player experience. These games failed to deliver, but they show the difficulties of building good multiplayer systems. We can only hope developers learn from these failures and improve shared world experiences. If you know any other game, let us know in the comment section. And if you are looking for free multiplayer games, watch this video.